and time starts as soon as I um, go past the screen. All right. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. So, um, <laughs> we can start here. We start Good out enough. in the village of Leaf, and the first items we get here, if I can get in the door, is an item from the apprentice. Usually in the base game, he just gives you money, but now he gives you an item. He gave me change, which is interesting. Um, I'm gonna get some uh, items here. I can't get the warp boots. The prices are randomized. The um, the items in the item shops are randomized, and you can't use that very cool uh, a very cool shopping glitch that I discovered. Telepathy. That's another interesting pickup. So neither of those is progression past like the first area. So there's one more Sphere Zero check, and it's gonna give me something. And so this is a new addition in the randomizer. It's called the Wind Water Passage. You can go through this passageway that's been opened up, and you end up in this new area. Um, well, it, it's a, the area near Portoa. Normally, you'd kind of get to this area about the midpoint of the game, but with the uh, passage the randomizer does, it opens up the game a whole lot. Um, sort of turning, uh, it's what really turns this kind of more linear game into a really open world game. Just one passageway, opening it up, and now we're in the Queen's Chamber. So I'm gonna do a glitch called the Statue Glitch. You can um, go through this door, and uh, that gets a trigger. And the windmill key, okay. So that tells me where to go next. So there's a lot of kind of really random triggers in this game that you've got to remember. And, you know, you've got to keep track of not just your item locations and items you've got, you've got to keep track of the um, all these triggers. And one of the triggers is um, uh, going back in the behind the queen there, and that triggers the queen to give you something. And the queen will give you another item if you uh, release the dolphin but we need the water sword for that. So for now, we've got one, um, we've got the windmill key, which gets us into the windmill cave. So in the windmill cave, there are three chests we can get to without any sword. Oh, and I should point out, we don't have a sword. Now, there's no swordless mode in this game. Without a sword, I'm completely defenseless. I'm just walking around trying not to die. Um, the action doesn't really start until we get one. And, um, how long can it be until we get a sword? Sometimes it can take a little while, but... And here we use the windmill key. Ooh. So you turn on the windmill, and for some reason turning on the windmill causes this explosion that opens up the cave. It's, you know, Nintendo logic, but that's how it is. Okay. So. Let's avoid the enemies get to the cave here. The Sword of Water, that is very useful. So, one of the uh, things you get here, uh, going out of that cave kind of sets a checkpoint. I have a flag turned on that makes all of the, um, the weaknesses, the elemental weaknesses for the enemies are all randomized. So, I don't know what sword will work on all these enemies, and I've only got one right now, and I do not want to get hit by those paralysis beams. But I do want to kill some enemies and get some money, because I don't have that, that shopping glitch, so I need money to buy things like warp boots that, to get around between towns. Okay, so coming up on the first chest that we've got here, and it's this... These nice guys... If you get in the right spot, you can get them without them getting you with their... Oh. Some, some enemies are particularly hard to avoid and particularly powerful. Um, another big change in the randomizer is the scaling factor. So the scaling factor, every time you get a, um, an item, a, uh, an, a unique item, it increases the scaling factor called, uh, and it's this number, number six. It's at six right now. It's right by my level. Whoa! All right, level up. I'm gonna hold on to my medical herbs if I can, but I don't want to die. Okay. So those bats don't drop any money. So I don't have any warp boots. I can't just warp out of this cave. So I've got to walk out. 
I mean, there's a, there's, so there's a wild warp glitch. Uh, so there's a wild warp debug. And in the game, you can use it to um, go back to the starting town. If you... Uh, I try to avoid using it. And... There's no reason not to walk out of the cave. I'm almost there. So certain enemies... So the experience and gold that enemies give you is scaled. Whoa. It's all scaled, which is very nice, because in the uh, normal game, you can be very slow to get level ups. But uh, the scaling means that as you get key items, you get more experience. However, the enemy's power also scales. So the amount of hits they take, their defense, um, that scales too. The key to Stixie. Okay, so you didn't have to do this in the base game, but uh, in the randomizer, that's another trigger. You have to uh, cross that thing and talk to, uh, cross that little gateway, talk to Mija. I think is supposed to be like a heroine. Um, the plot in this game is sort of weird, but the, that triggers the uh, dolphin appearing out here. So we've got, let's see, what do we have? We got uh, rabbit boots, we got key to sticks, Stixy. Um, we don't have, uh, well, we're probably gonna get something in here. So I, another flag I should point out that I've got on is, uh, it's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but it makes it so that you can uh, blow up walls and create the uh, water bridges with just the level one attack. Normally, you need the uh, level two attack. If you can eliminate the angry sea, I'll teach you the magic of recover. Okay. So there are, um, there's a few hints in this, uh, in the randomizer, and that's one of them. That was good to find out. Warp boots. Okay, well, that's useful. I'm gonna save my warp boots and walk out of here, because without the, um, without the shopping glitch, you're, especially early on before you get the teleport spell, your, your warp boots are fairly valuable. Um, so what I got is the, uh, the dolphin gave me the shell flute, and I got the fog lamp earlier. So I can give the fog lamp here, we can get on the boat, and start here in the best BGM. Oh, man. Okay, another trigger random here. We have to talk to Kensu. He lost something. I'm all mixed up. Now we use our shell flute. And the dolphin! So we got an interesting combination of items. You're going to get to see a glitch that doesn't come up in the randomizer that often. I'm going to go in that town to get a... Um, to get a check, um, get that on my return list. So, uh, when you visit a town, it gets on this sort of hidden list of town of um, towns that you can go to with the warp boots or teleport spell. All right. So we got a uh, magic ring there. There's a lot of consumable items that don't give you anything. Uh, well, they're useful. That magic ring gives you all your magic power. Very, very useful. However, it doesn't get me progression. So what I'm going to have to do here, get this guy out of my way. How many hits is this going to take? Okay. Some of these enemies. We're going to equip the rabbit boots. The rabbit boots let you jump. And we're going to do the... Uh, okay, so you got to... It's a pretty tight boundary here. Okay. And this is a pretty tricky glitch to get, and I haven't been practicing it. There we go. This, get, this glitch is called Ghetto Flight. Ghetto Flight. It's not flight, it's sort of flight. You can fly up the waterfall, you can fly over the angry sea, and you can get on, uh, if you find the right place, you can get to the next town. Um, you cannot, so the randomizer patched a little oversight where you could get the barrier spell. Um, in the randomizer, it's, uh, 
that's been patched out. Now you've got to um, you've got to actually calm the angry sea before you can do that. And I'm gonna have to stay at the end to get my MP back here. And we're the next thing we've got to do. We've got to use the change spell. These guards are in the way. Turn into a guard, and now they'll let us through. All right. So now we're kind of uh, getting actually kind of a late game area. And we're actually fairly, uh, you know, I'm only at level two. You would normally be a lot further along here. So, let's see, what do I have? I can go in that cave. I might do that. Let's start out here. So, you know, like any randomizer, there's a lot of different places you can go. Um, and depending on what your item layout is, you might be able to get to a lot of things. And this particular set of items that I've got lets me get to a lot of different places in the game. So I have a lot of options right now. Um, we're gonna see what's here. I'm gonna let that bridge out. So I do not have, there's a flight spell and flight is really cool. You can fly over all these pits uh, and that's why we use the ghetto flight there. But in order to do the ghetto flight, oh! Another sword, okay. So, when you get the Sword of Thunder in the base game, you get teleported to this town and they um, give you this, uh, uh, give you a little hint here. Tell me when a good time for donations would be. Okay, um, uh, we can do some, some, a little bit right now, it's fine. All right. Um, there is a donation from Anonymous for $10. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Another Anonymous donation for $35, asking, there's a randomizer for Chrysalis? <laughs> yes, Chrysalis. there is. A lot of surprise. Thank you very much for that. And then Ludafex for $35. I know I beat this game at one point, but I honestly don't remember playing it. I'm sure watching it randomized won't muddle my memory anymore. Up, so I'm gonna pick that up. Um, so there's a few places. Actually, now that I'm here, I might go ahead and do the um, the Stixy Cave. Let's see how many. Actually, so I've got I've got a shield and I've got some medical herbs, so I'll be able to, to tank this out. So you're gonna see why I checked my medical herb uh, layout here in a little bit. But in the uh, base game, you would get a barrier spell that lets you block uh, projectiles. But in the randomizer, you you may get it, you may not. Dep well, I do have a I, so I have this advanced flag on that makes it so you may have to do this, and it can be a useful sequence break. So on the right side, I would need flight, which I don't have. So I'm going to take the left side, and we're going to see what's there. Now, flight. Ooh, this is a tough. These robots. Okay, I'm gonna get these robots out of my way. Whoa. Okay, we got lucky. Out of my way, B. I do not want to get hit by that B. That would, uh. It, um, getting paralyzed would mean I can't charge my sword. So these robots here, oh man, this is about the worst uh, possible enemies that could show up here. But I'm gonna get through here. We just gotta try not to get hit. So these, the tower robots are not, um, they just recently added this to the randomizer where the tower robots could get shuffled in with the rest of the enemies. And, um, it's not something that's, uh... It's, it's one of the, it's... The build as an advanced flag, so I've got it on. It makes it a little interesting. Orb of Thunder. Well, there's the first orb. Okay, we're gonna go back to Goa. Catch 
smashing some of my warp boots here. I've got that. Do I... Oh, no. Okay. Antidote. I was hoping to get some more medical herbs, but we'll be alright. I'm going to check... So, that Sword of Thunder. Nice pickup. It's good to have the Sword of Thunder. But on the other hand, it also adds a little complication here. We kind of, um, we warped out of an area that there was a couple more checks to get. At least, well, two more. So we're going to get those two so that we don't strand them. And actually, even then, we're kind of stranding one more because... Oh, and I gotta remember. So there's a patch in the randomizer where the rabbit boots can now make you, um, they have an effect where you can charge your sword while you're moving. Very cool. Um, and I think this is my fault because I said, you know, wouldn't it be cool? Um, so for those of you who don't know, I'm also the TAS author of this game on TAS videos. And in the task, there's a glitch where you can charge your sword while you're still moving. And I asked um, Steve Hacks, the guy who makes this randomizer, you know, hey, can we make it so everyone can charge their sword while they're moving? And he said, hmm, let me think about it. So you can, but it's tied to the, um, it's tied to the rabbit boots. The rabbit boots are normally not that useful because they make you jump, but if you got flight, you can effectively jump. I think I could have routed this a little better. I went, um, uh, I took a, that path. Now I've got to go around here to get one more chest. A little bit of a, of a hike, but there could be something in this chest. Um, and I've got a few other areas I can go right now, but, oh, Mimic. Actually, I'm going to try seeing if I can beat this Mimic. Okay. Well... The Mimic gives you a lot of gold, so it's good to get that gold for your, um, uh, weapons. Okay, so we got Sword of Water. Uh, we've got... What else we got? We've got Change, we've got Telepathy. We've got a Lysis Plant, which we don't need. Uh, Warp Boots. Okay. And we got the Sword of Thunder, so we could go into Goa Fortress. We can go... That would be a tough one. Let's stick with, um, uh, uh, I want Portoa. Did we go that, did that one. Um, there's one more there. I might have to hit that. And I'm going to hit up this. Warp boots and antidote. Well, that was useful. Wait, I can see a little more warp boots. Okay. So there's one more chest here that I can get without any particular sword. So sword of water and sword of thunder. Um, you know, any sword is useful, and I have a story mode flag on, which means that I have to get all the swords eventually. But, um, Sword of Thunder unlocks only a few spots, really. Um, and the Sword of Water also, uh, unlocks a few spots. Normally, if you, uh, if you get the Flight spell, then the, you don't really need the Sword of Water to kind of go over these bridges that get built. Um, so the Sword of Water becomes a lot less useful, but we don't have flight yet. So there may be more things we've got to get here. Um, in fact, Goa Fortress might be the place to go. But we're going to try out some other stuff first. Whoa, watch out. So with rabbit boots, I can charge my sword easily and uh, get some quick kills, get some experience, and get some levels that are going to keep me alive. Gas mask. Hmm. So the thing is, in order to get to that swamp area, I need to go... I need to be able to reach Bryn Mare, which I need the fire sword for. So... We're at a dead end. So we're going to go back to Goa. 
I'm gonna try to get through here. Let's see, I've got one medical herb and a opal statue. We're gonna cash that in for the sake of progress. Oh, but that shield is helping. Oh, and for the sake of progress, everyone in... Well, one of the triggers here is that um, when you go through the... Uh, with the Thunder Sword, you've got the Thunder Sword, you've got a couple other things, you can trigger the Shiren Massacre. So I'm at really low scaling, so this boss fight's not going to be too bad, but it's one of the tougher bosses um, that I'm heading for. Wait, other way. What am I thinking? Oh. So... Randomizer's got um, the bosses scale too, and so you've got to think about um, what weapons and equipment you've got to beat the boss. The bosses also have random, uh, randomized weaknesses, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to even hurt this guy. Let's see. Oh, we do! actually have a pretty good chance here. Alright. So that's, uh, Kelvesk 1 down. He's really easy if you have Barrier. Without Barrier, you've got to be a little careful about his attacks. It's If you get in the right placement, you can get around it. Now, I do not have Flight, so I'm gonna have to go around this the long way. Um, but first, we're gonna see what the um, we're gonna see what hold, what's in store for us in this chest. So, in the newer version of the randomizer, there is a flag that lets you change the elements that needs that you need to blow up the walls. And I didn't turn that on because it adds a little time. You don't you no longer kind of know whether you're able to get anywhere in your in your seed because you don't know if you've got the right sword. You need you need another sword. So um, I, I kind of left some of these more esoteric ones off. But actually, I pretty much you know there's a lot of, a lot of different flags and I turned on most of them. Um, you know, don't try this at home. But w when you get better at this randomizer, there are a lot of different flags. Okay, we gotta make some bridges here. Get an item down here. We've got um, two more items in this area. Iron necklace. Actually, well, so you need armor for the iron necklace to do anything. It doubles the effectiveness of your armor. Um, so this is one of the longer areas. If there's any donations, you know, it's a good time. All right. Uh, okay. Donations. We have one donation from Zabok, who donates $35, saying, I seem to remember being slaughtered by the first boss of this game over and over again. But mostly I remember the awesome intro sequence. Looking forward to watching this game get destroyed. Thank you very much, Zabok. Thank you. So you might notice all of the enemies are randomized. There's uh, different enemies. Um, there's different... They can spawn in different locations. And some of them are going to be, you know, flying at you. So there's um, there's areas where there weren't normally enemies flying at you before. And now there are. Okay, let's see. Sword of Water. Ooh, we got the weakness. But this is going to be a tough fight. The, the rabbit, uh, the rabbit boots here are gonna be my saving, are gonna be what saves me, but... This is a lot easier if you have the barrier spell, again, but we don't. So we're gonna have to just do a little bullet hell here, and, you know... 
have to have a good idea of where the hitboxes are, and the hitboxes can be a little wonky. You know, what I did was I took the, um, I took the script that I made when I was doing passes on this game, and I had a, a hitbox uh, display. And so I play on an emulator with the hitboxes around, uh, just to get a good idea of where the hitboxes are for the different enemies. So if this fight goes bad, you're going to see another mechanic that got added in. But we'll see. We'll see if I we'll see if that comes up yet, or if it comes up later. Do I have? I don't have a medical herb. So as you get uh, further into the fight, and the enemy, and Severa 2 takes more damage, um, she goes faster. So you can kind of tell how far you are by how fast she goes, and I don't... I think she's going to get a little faster. But sometimes it's hard to tell. There can be a lot of lag. And it's hard to tell how fast things are going when there's a lot of lag. I can win this. I think I'm getting close. All oh, right. Oh, right, right at the end. Okay. Well, here's the mechanic that I, that we just found out. When you have a uh, opal statue in your inventory, and now I get the barrier spell. That was that was very really useful. I could have used that before, but so in this next area, we're gonna be able to get a bunch more um, a bunch more items, and we're gonna be able to fight an even tougher boss. They only get tougher. Well, actually, the next one is the toughest. After that, they get a little easier. Oh, man. We're, we're getting to see some interesting stuff here. This, this ended up being a good seed. Normally, you will not go into this dungeon so early. Um, so, yeah, we got a really fun seed. And we got another Mimic. I'm going to get some gold. You know, some people would say, just move on, don't uh, bother getting the gold, but with I, I like getting the gold. I need to get those warp boots. We need to get some medical herbs. No enemies. I keep wondering where those enemies are. That means, it might mean there's flying enemies. It might mean, I don't know, where are, all the, where are the enemies? An antidote. Okay, fall down. Let's see, we've got a couple more chests down here. Those level ups are important. If I'm gonna fight the next boss, it's gonna be a clutch fight, but... And the sort of win, okay. I am probably not gonna take on the next boss because... I do not have any medical herbs or anything to heal with and he's really tough. On the other hand, if I can pull it off, it would be, it'd be good. So we'll see. The Sword of Wind is actually a, a really big um, uh, opener as far as like opening up different caves. So I can get three more chests in that uh, vampire cave that we uh, did earlier. And I can uh, open up a couple other caves too. So there's one more chest up here. And even if I don't beat the boss, there could be something useful there. So I'm going to keep going. All right. Now, let's see. Normally, you would, uh, in the base game, you can kind of be prepared. You know which enemies are coming. But I don't know what enemies are waiting for me here. And it's just a consumable. Uh, I'm going to toss an antidote so I've got room. And maybe a fruit of power. Fruit of lime. That's use. No, 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 keep that one. Drop that one. Fruit of lime restores your um, 
it restores you from uh, stone, but uh, you can just wait and just or just try not to get stoned. I try, you know, you gotta keep. You don't have a lot of room in your inventory, so I try to keep in my uh, focus on the important stuff, medical herbs and the um, and my uh, warp boots. Especially um, once you get teleport, you can, you know, you don't really need any. Um, you don't need the medical herbs. Oh no! Ah! Uh, I took the wrong time to drink water. Well, I just did. I'm probably not gonna beat the boss, but I want to at least see if I've got the right sword, and that because that's important information. Okay, we'll get up there again real quick. I wouldn't mind getting another level up. Give me a better chance if I get there. So I've got three swords. Um, the, if one of those swords is uh, the weakness of the boss, I might be able to beat him. If it's, if it's the other sword, then I'm out for sure. But I've, I just got that sword of wind. That was a big find. Um, that gives me like four different dungeons. Okay, this time we'll make. It. Oh, next time. Hmm. All right. Okay. Now we've got the hardest boss, and I don't have any healing items. So. We're, we're gonna see, we're gonna check this out. That sword's not it. That one is. Not a good situation here. So we're gonna, we're gonna nope out for now. We're gonna come back later a little better armed. Okay, so first we're going to hit, um, Actually, so I got a lot of stuff for the other area. Um, so we're going to take the Vampire Cave, and on the other end of the Vampire Cave, we're going to end up in Bryn Mare, which is a very useful area to be in. Um, we haven't gotten, we don't have any other access there. And that's going to give us um, some other caves we can check. And three items in the um, three items in the vampire cave that we can get, and we'll beat the, beat, beat the vampire. Okay, so level six at um, level six at fifteen scaling, pretty good. Okay, what's our time at? Thirty-three minutes. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Of course. You know, that's the nature of the randomizer. You don't know, you never really know how good you're doing. But I've gotten, um, I've gotten two bosses down, and, um, I've got three swords. So I have to get all the swords to fulfill this, the story mode. Um, more about the story mode. In the randomizer, we decided, you know, there's all this extra stuff. Uh, a lot of times the randomizer ends up being... Uh, kind of very random as far as uh, at the end game there are three bows that you need. You need the bow of sun, the bow of moon, and the bow of truth. Oh, and that was a good find. That was another really good find. Um, so now we've got all four swords. So that's one major goal down. Uh, the next thing is getting the uh, uh, getting all the bosses dead. And we need to find all three bows. So you need the first two bows to get into the last dungeon, and then you need the last bow to reveal the final boss. Ooh, out of my way. Warrior ring. All right. So with the, uh, with the rabbit boots there, we could just charge our sword while moving. With the warrior ring, we don't even need to charge our sword. We get level one shots just by hitting the B button. Very useful. So I'm gonna use that for a while now.
that's gonna make things go pretty smooth. So that was sort of the first boss. He's kind of not one of the major bosses, but he gave us a nice thing. He gave us the Orb of Fire. I think they call it the ball in the, in the um, you know, the ball. It used to be the ball, but we had to change it to Orb. The Orb of Fire. We've got two orbs now. Oh, and that was another one. Three orbs. So... We don't, in this mode, we don't need the orbs because um, I have a flag on that lets you, that lets you um, open these rock walls without, with only the, uh, with only a level one shot. But if I can get armor here, that would be nice, but I don't quite have enough. So I've got the gas mask and I've got telepathy. That lets me get in the swamp, but first I'm going to um, I'm going to hit this other town. So this is the town of women, Amazones, and the women uh, they don't like men, uh, and so they won't talk to you because just because you're a guy, I guess. And I'm going to uh, get it more work boots because I need them. Um, but we can ignore that and just walk through them. Sorry, lady. Coming through. <laughs> so I have the change spell. I can, I can use that. I can turn into a girl, but I didn't feel like it right now. Um, okay. So, that's, uh, it's a consumable, actually, it's probably, I might, I might need it, so we're gonna, we're gonna pick it up, and it's a blurb. Managing your inventory is kind of annoying, you know, I want to keep some, uh, I want to keep some, uh, safety items around, but I also want to keep a lot of, uh, warp boots around, so I can use those, and... It's kind of, it's really annoying when you use your last warp boots and then you don't have gold to get another one. So next, we're going to go to uh, Mount Saber South. Um, and there are a bunch of chests here with um, a pretty high density. You can get them pretty fast. So we're going to see what we get. These guys are worth good experience. And we got to get them out of our way. You know, once you have flight, you can fly over the enemies. It's very convenient. But without that, you kind of want to get the enemies out of your way because I don't want to get hit. And we're going to use our rabbit boots. So this is actually something you have to do in the vanilla game. You know, in the randomizer, a lot of times you usually have flight. You can just fly over that, but we don't. So we're going to do this. Oh, and we need a sword of fire. What? Oh. Oh, do I have... Okay, so we're gonna find a way to get poisoned here. So we got poisoned. Why did I get poisoned? It's because when you get a status effect and you have an, another status effect, it overwrites it. So I had a status effect that made me not able to charge my sword. And this is gonna be my first reset here. So there wasn't a, I, I didn't think that was useful. So I just uh, reset, got out here and now we're back. Save a little time. You can, you know, there's different ways to kind of get around in this game. And it's very useful just if you get the checkpoint, uh, if you manage your checkpoints right or save your game, then you can just hit reset and go back to where you were. Another advantage is that if you got a... There's certain items that count as key items, but aren't really necessary. Um, and so if you reset them, you can keep your scaling factor down, which is kind of nice. It makes the enemies a little weaker. Um, makes the bosses a little weaker. So I want to kill enemies that w when they're in the way and it's, you know, convenient, but... If, uh, if it's not really in the way, then 
I might, I said. Oh, these wizards. Okay, so if you get hit by those beams, then you get turned into a slime. And it's, uh, it's pretty painful. But we've got, uh, we've got, we got the, the storm bracelet back there. That gives us level three, um, uh, storm. Very useful. Um, because you can just summon this, uh, storm that, like, we call it the lag storm because it's so laggy and it hits, like, everything on screen. All right, another level up. I love those plants. They sort of, they walk around, they can poison you, but they just sort of walk around and let you kill them. Very convenient. And they give you pretty good experience. So, when I see them, we get them. Okay, we gotta have the tornado bracelet, we don't have it. We've got the power ring. Okay, so this was a good, uh, a good power run. We got the power ring, and we got, uh, the storm bracelet. Next, we're going to go to the swamp. So, I guess, you know, there's other places I can go, but I feel like I got the swamp, I, I got the gas mask, and, uh, this is probably a good, probably a good place to go early. Uh, oh, wait, what am I, what am I doing here? Nothing happens because, oh, it's the eyeglasses, gas mask. <laughs> Uh, the eyeglasses, um, open up a hidden passage. It has the same, uh, you know, image as the, uh, the gas mask, which lets you breathe in the swamp. So, the swamp. The triggers are, you have to, if you get in the, uh, the actual trigger to get the swamp, uh, the village of oak in your list is right around here. So if you just enter the village and leave, you can't warp back. But I've uh, I've got a lot of warp boots, so we're going to be able to rescue the kid here and then warp out. And we've got vanilla enemies in the swamp today. This is where you ask, is it even randomized? So we're going to get two items here. One from the uh, one from the elder, which is going to that's the vanilla um, insect flute, and the other one is the speed boots. Ah, so the speed boots, obviously, and this, this is the speed run, so the speed boots are going to be pretty useful. Uh, we're going to go to Joel, and our next, uh, our next dungeon is going to be Evil Island. So this is an, a dungeon that gets completely skipped in um, in the any percent run on this game, but in a hundred percent run you need it. Okay, what have I got here? I got I can use more medical herbs. All right, got another medical herb. I got my speed boots, and we're gonna take our our dolphin, and we're gonna hit the Evil Island Cave. And I'm going to unequip that because it adds some lag if you have the, um... If you have your, uh, shell flute equipped. So with the speed boots, you move faster everywhere. I mean, I'm not sure if it affects the dolphin. The dolphin moves faster than, you, than you're walking. So this is a, um, a really good vanilla grind spot. If you're, if you're playing the vanilla game, you want to go there and just grind. Actually, what do I have equipped? Uh, oh yeah, I got my speed boots. I'm going to keep my speed boots. So if you want to kind of like do a lot of fighting, then you want to equip the warrior ring. If you just want to walk around fast, then you want the speed boots. And what do you think we want right now if we're in a speed run? We want our speed boots. Speed boots are, um, they're, in the vanilla game, they were just the, le Ooh. In the vanilla game, they were just leather boots. But in the, uh, in the randomizer, they've been upgraded to speed boots. Oh, and there's our last. That's the orb of wind. So now we've got, um, the orb of wind. And, uh, we, so... A big change in the randomizer is the sword's power. In the base game, your or your um, your sword's power is just um, 
kind of inherent in the sword. So the each sword it gets um, more powerful. The sword of fire is more powerful. The sword of water is more powerful. Um, okay, I'm gonna use the rabbit boots to jump over this guy. Yeah. Have a donation um, if you're ready for it. Tornado bracelet. Oh, so if I would have done this earlier. Okay, back to my speed boots. So I have a quick donation for you if you're ready for it. So in the randomizer, the change is that your sword's power controls how um, how uh, your power level. So it, right now, I can charge to level three because I've got the tornado bracelet. Um, and that means the sword itself is more powerful. So the stabs are more powerful. Yeah. Besides just the fact that I can actually charge it up to level three. Um, to break in for just one second, we sure. did have a $100 anonymous donation. Thank you so much Ooh, for that. Thank you very much. So that was the psycho armor. That's the most powerful armor. Actually, it's it's not the um, the highest defense armor. It's the highest, um, but it's it's one of the most higher defense armors, and it um, it restores your HP when you sit still. And there may be some times I sit still, but probably not a whole lot. Now a boss, maybe um, if you're like kind of waiting for the boss's pattern to even out and. But, uh, whoa! Oh, this isn't going so hot. Probably gonna hit a reset after I get to check this chest. Okay, let's see. And it's a fruit of power, so we're gonna reset that. And get a little health back. So one of the things in the, in, in the base game, you get the refresh spell right away. And so that means you can heal yourself uh, with your magic. It's very useful, but we don't have that. We're gonna use the lag storm here and end this fight pretty fast. So, you know, one of the things about randomizers is you, you've got to kind of look at what items you've got and see your advantages and disadvantages. And, you know, not having flight is, is a big disadvantage, but I've got a lot of power. I've got, I've got, um, lag storm. I've got two, bra I've got two bracelets now. And, uh, yeah. So in the base game, the leather boots let you walk across these kind of spike pits or swamps without, um, without, uh, taking damage. And they still have that effect in the randomizer. Okay. Clear out some enemies. Now we can get through here. Oh no! Well, I got a level up, which is nice, but... We're gonna have to get back up there. Okay, so good news is we don't have to uh, take any more of those, uh, oh, those shadows can be really annoying. And their hitboxes are actually surprisingly big. Yeah, okay, you have to like hit her to reveal that she's actually one of the bad guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use that. We've got barrier. Um, and let's see what sword she's weak against. Oh, and uh, we're gonna use the power ring. No, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, guess what? I, I have to. Her, her second form gave me so much trouble, and look at this. That was that. Okay, so we're gonna get warp boots. We've got our um, uh, speed boots. Okay. So let's see what Clark has. We got one more item. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got our flight. Okay, so we're gonna take our flight to um, Brimmer. And uh, we're gonna use 
we're gonna execute a, uh, a trick called teleport skip, which is kind of obsolete now, but um, basically th on the bridge over there, there's a trigger that loads this whole area. And one of the things that it loads is a, uh, a barrier that prevents you from going up this mountain. Um, but if you do that, then you can go through it. And I got that my first try. There's actually another invisible barrier there that forces you back. And um, I went through there. Usually I need a few tries to find it. Um, yeah, funny trivia. I'm the one who found that. And I, like, I'm always uh, fumbling around trying to find it. Uh, but this, not this time. Uh, let's see, more warp boots because we need to warp. Okay, so we need to beat um, we need to beat all of the uh, first all of, like the tetrarchy, the uh, main bosses, and one of them is this guy here, uh, Kelbesk, and we beat his uh, second form. So let's see what swords he's weak against. Uh, we've got no, uh, we're gonna use the warrior ring. Okay. So once again, we've got the bracelet here, so this is going to make it an easier fight. Ah. And that guy's usually a lot tougher, but, you know, sometimes the randomizer, you get the right item for the job. Um, we've got... Oh, I need those. I need those. No, oh, I don't really need those. And I got another magic ring. Oh, uh, okay. Back to our... And... Sword of... Fire. So I'm gonna check this. There's two more treasure chests on this cave. I'm gonna kind of leave those off for now. Uh, we're gonna get this one. And it's a Mimic. Well, we'll, we'll beat the Mimic. Okay. Next is going to be... Uh, Mado. So let's see what he's weak against. Oh. Let's see, we're gonna use Warrior Ring, it's a little... So the Power Ring, you get extra power. The Warrior Ring, you can shoot, and some bosses, it's better just to be able to shoot, and it takes a few more shots, but you can just kind of stand there and get them a little easier. Has anyone seen my task on this game? All the fights are a lot easier, but you know, it's a task. I'm hoping we can someday be able to play it back, but it's a, this game is really complicated. Okay, um, from here we're going to hit, um, uh, we're gonna hit, oh wait, I didn't go through there. Of course, I couldn't. Uh, speed boots. Okay. So that is um, all of the outside bosses down. Now we've got to get the bosses in the fortress, and we've got to find the bows. So there's three bows to get. How many have I gotten so far? I haven't gotten any of them. Um, so it seems like it's going pretty well, but I don't have any of the bows. So it could we could have a little while here while I find all the bows. Uh, so we've got change, we've got telepathy, so we're gonna turn to Stom and see what Deo has for us. The fruit of power. Great. Uh, flight. Alright. Uh, wait, I don't need the inn. Do they have warp boots? We'll take some warp boots. Alright. So we got a little passageway here. Uh, I'm on level nine. Uh, but getting it, so usually I'm aiming for level 12 to beat the game. And at this point I'm kind of looking, you know, where's a good grind spot where I can get those last couple levels. 
Let's see what kind of enemies we got here. And can I hit them with thunder? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. So the, the battle magic here can be real useful for grinding. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Pause your, go to your select menu. The um, you can reset your lag storm. Okay, so that blew off all my magic, but that's fine. So this is the small pyramid, and one of the other required bosses for story mode is here. Uh oh. I wanted that level up. Uh, do I have... I do not have that. But I've got a lot of hit points. And fun fact, uh, if you have the Psycho Armor, the healing factor is faster than... Uh, the healing factor from the Psycho Armor is faster than, the, than poison, so you can actually heal yourself. So we're going to beat this... Uh, oh, okay, another quick boss fight, huh? Antidote. And actually, I could use that antidote. Right, just at the right time, huh? Insect flute. Uh, okay. Okay, we got, um... We got a lot of stuff we can still do. So let's hit, um... Uh, let's go to Portoa. our speed boots. We need a lot of these warp boots, huh? So anyway, do I have the flute? I've got insect flute, but not that. So I'm going to hit this cave. There's four items in, um, in this fog lamp cave. And um, you need the sword of wind to hit the barriers. So we're going to... Um, we're going to see what we've got. We've, we've got uh, three bows to get. And we still got some of Goa Fortress to go. Refresh. Okay, so that's the first spell that you get in the normal game. And it lets you restore your HP, which is pretty useful. And if you haven't noticed yet, there's a pallet swap going on here. The pallet is completely randomized. Every area um, is uh, different. Uh, let's see... We're just gonna... We're gonna ignore consumables for now because we don't need anything. Oh, that's bad, though. We got the glowing lamp. Um, let's see. Can I get poisoned? Poison me! No? Who will, want, who will poison me? Will you poison me? That's fine, because I've got Refresh. I can restore my HP. Ah! But I can't... Okay. All right. So that flag means I, I only need level 1 to open the doors. Uh... Okay, let's get through here fast with the speed boots. So there's the first three chests in this cave come pretty quick, and the last one you've got to go around a little bit. In the um, in the base game, you only need that last one. It's got the fog lamp. So this is called the fog lamp cave. So some of the guys that do the randomizer, they swear by this cave. Like, do this cave as soon as you can. And I'm kind of like, oh, maybe. Another mimic, huh? Let's get some more gold. Okay, so we're going to... Um, we're going to go to Sahara. 
and we're gonna go in the back side of Goa Fortress. So normally you've gotta finish the fortress to get that flight spell. Um, but we've got it now, so we can fly in to the back side of the fortress and um, sort of backdoor everything, get get uh, everything, uh, do it from the back side, and you can fight Carmine first, you can fight Mado, um, and now we're a little better armed, so we're going to be able to beat um, all these bosses real easy. Uh, I'm going to start out by getting item here that we needed flight to get to before. We couldn't have gotten this before because we needed flight to get over here, and it's a shield that we don't need, so I'm going to reset that, um, get to the beginning of this cave. Now we fly over here and find another mimic. So hopefully we get the teleport spell soon so we don't have to keep getting these warp boots, but um, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. About one hour? One hour, and I've got all the bosses down. I got all the swords, but I don't have any bows. I, I bet we're gonna find all the bows in one place, huh? That's how that's how it works in these randomizers, you know. Um, so Kensu, this is this slime here is Kensu. He was stupid and got hit by this next boss who turned him into a slime. Let's see if we're uh, a little luckier. Um, now we're seeing all the mimics. Too many items, huh? Oh, I don't want to get rid of the items. Oh, great. Poison. I could use an antidote, but... Flute of Lime. Okay, that opens up... Um, well, I could go in the Waterfall Cave. Oh, and there we get the Ivory Statue. Ivory Statue get. Um, okay, so we've got Barrier. Um, I'm gonna refresh myself, hit that, um, and then we're gonna Barrier through here. Um, and we're gonna see what this boss is weak against. Uh, with the Power Ring. It's not that. It's not that. It's that. If you can get up to the bosses and, you know, bang them with your sword, that's usually more effective. Alright, so we've got only one more uh, boss left before we can go um, in the end. But we need these bows. We, we, can't, uh, we can't win without the bows. Fruit of Repun. Well, we can't give that to Kensu. Okay, finally we got a bow. So there's one. So if you're familiar with the Link to the Past randomizer, the bows in, in this randomizer are sort of like the ice rod. You know, they can be pretty much anywhere in the game because they don't, um, they don't block anything until the end. Um, but we've got, let's see, we've got that. We've got the ivory statue. The flame bracelet, okay. So now we have all the bracelets. Which is, you know, nice, but they're not bows. You know, you can beat the game without any bracelets, but y you need all the bows. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna look for, for the rest of the bows. And we do need, we need to beat one more boss, and that's the boss that I noped out of before. And he is the, he's the, he's the hardest one. You know, in the game, they, they say, oh, uh, Carmine, the guy that we just beat, he's the hardest. But no, no, no. It's Mado. There's no doubt. Because, well, you'll see. He's like, you know, bouncing around everywhere. In fact, I'm going to get another level before I fight him. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I don't really need any more levels the rest of the game. I can beat, even with um, a high scaling factor, I can beat the game on level 12. It's kind of nice to have 13. But we're pretty well armed. Okay, and Mado's weakness was that hopefully we're going to get, actually, uh, we hit the reset here, and we get uh, cured of our poison. Isn't that nice? I did, why didn't I think of that before? It doesn't matter. Um, so, we get cured, and 
So Mado's weakness was wind. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the power ring and power that up. Um, yeah, this will work. Super fast bouncing around. I don't know if he's related to Sonic or what, but... Statue, that's fine. We got, they're taking up room in our inventory. Stop! Wait, oh, it wasn't that sword. It was actually that's easy, that's even better. Why did I think it was wind? The only thing is it's kind of hard to hit him with this uh, the flame uh, the flame bracelet here attack. Oh, that was it, good. Alright. So that was actually, and we, um, we don't need anything else in the fortress here. We full cleared the fortress. Um, so now, um, we just need those bows. So we're going to start just clearing out different dungeons and, uh, until we find these bows. Now there is an interesting thing that can happen where if we find the bow of sun and moon first, the bow of truth, there are two items in the final dungeon. And one of them can be the Bow of Truth, if you can get the Bow of Moon and uh, Sun first. So we're really going to hope that we find the Bow of Truth first. That means that the Bow of Moon will have to be somewhere in one of the dungeons that we, um, that's not the final dungeon. Okay, another Mimic. Okay, we're almost there. So this cave is the waterfall cave. Here you get the sword of water in the normal game, but in the randomizer, um, we can uh, we can get through there. But I've got the flute, so I'll, I'll let them uh, get restored to normal. We'll go on and uh, go after the uh, rest of the items here. So there are um, three treasure chests, and there is one um, trade-in kind of here. So this guy here, he's turned to stone, and, uh, wait, no, uh, the shell flute, uh, it, flute of line, that's the one. Warp boots. Okay, well, thanks, but, um, we need some bows. Key to prison, that's another useful item, but, medical herb, okay. And we don't have teleport yet, either. So we're going to get some more room. Oh, we're running out of money for warp boots. Okay, so here's an interesting uh, change. You use the key to prison, you can open the door from there. And the statue of Onyx, great. Well, we have to go to Bryn Mare to cash that in. Let's see what we get. Um, Statue of Onyx. Here, take this magic ring or something. Uh, I'm going to sell something I've got to get some uh, gold. Uh, we're going to sell... Wait. Oh, no, I reset that. Well, hopefully we'll be able to... Um, how much do we need for warp? Well, there's no warp boots here. Hopefully we find teleport soon. So after this, um, I'm going to use, actually I'm going to save Warp Boots and fight some the old-fashioned way. So this, uh, this fight with Stom here, there's a glitch that lets you just skip out right away and end it, but you had to use some Warp Boots. If you use your Warp Boots when the fight begins, the game gets confused, and if you go to the right place, it thinks the fight's over. But um, we're kind of tight on these warp boots because we didn't find uh, teleport. So I'm going to kind of let this fight end the, the old-fashioned way. And um, every time you fight him, he gets a little easier. And you have to go at least, it's, it's at least the third time that you can beat him um, with just mashing. If you can find the, oh, would he, did he tell me the hint? Huh. Um, I should have got that. Uh, let's see if I can reset and play that hint again. Okay. 
the hints are pretty recent additions, so I don't I don't necessarily know which ones which spots are supposed to have these. I'll teach you the magic ring. Um Oh, he didn't say what he gives you, huh? Oh well. Uh so now we'll use our warp boots and go to um I guess another one we've got is uh that cave near Portoa. And I'm gonna have to kill some enemies just to get um uh, we're gonna, we need some we need some money for our uh, warp boots if we don't find teleport soon. I've got one more. We do have oh uh, we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got more stuff in the Stixie Cave. We've got um Uh, let's see, we got more stuff in Stixie Cave, and I'm gonna go to Warrior Ring, just because it makes it easier to shoot stuff. So we've got more stuff in Stixie that we didn't get, that we couldn't get without flight. We've got uh, more stuff on Mount Hydra. We got more stuff on Mount Hydra. We've got... And there's Teleport. Okay, good. Okay. We can worry less about our gold now. Okay, we're almost through this cave. Uh, we got... We got our teleport there, um, and we're going to get one more item at the end, which is the Carissa plant. This is the Carissa plant cave. So, I don't know about you, but I tend to, uh, ooh, a psycho shield. So I tend to go through randomizers by memory alone, and um, it, it works out pretty well for me. I know some people need a tracker. Sometimes it's useful. Um, so our next one, we're going to go to Shiren. Um... Unfortunately, everyone's gone, but that's fine. We don't need them. You know, some people say that they're not dead until you actually talk to them. You know, they were just lying there, and then you talk to them and it says, they're dead. Uh, so, we had gone to that. Uh, we're gonna... Let's see. We didn't go all the way up in there, so we're gonna do that now. Um, so we're going to climb Mount Hydra, then we're going to go back to Stixie Cave and, uh, and clear that out. So we've got a little walking around here if you want some more donations. Oh, look at this side. ring here. Okay. Whoa. And, okay, there's the bow of truth. That was a good find, but we need one more bow. We've got two of them. And it was really good to find that one first. Um, because now we know that we don't have to go in the final dungeon. Um, and there's one more place that we don't have to check. But we've got um, two more chests um, up in here, and then we've got three more in the uh, in Stixie. Hopefully, one of those is going to be our last bow. There are a few more one-off locations that we could get on trade-ins, so uh, if that comes up, we'll see. Oh, hello, Bert. So if you get in the right place. You can get Bert. Uh, we'll see if we get the right sword. Really bad location there for Bert. Sorry, Bert. Oh, poison. So I got the hint that recover, the recover spell, was on. Uh, uh, him. So we don't actually have uh, recover, but I've got a lot of magic. Uh, Got a lot of magic stuff, and I've got. Those were both mimics? Oh man. What a gyp. 
But we did get a bow, so, you know, Mount Hydra gets a pass here. It's okay today. One bow in one area, you know, that's a pretty good quota. Pretty soon, uh, we're gonna have three checks. So we wanna, we wanna hopefully see a bow there. So there's no save points here. If you have a checkpoint, then you can, like, you know, reset your game. But if you don't have a checkpoint, you lose all your progress. So I need to make sure that I don't die, because I'll lose uh, everything since I left Shiren. Okay, so we need flight now. Um, and let's... Let's see a bow. Medical herb. Got two more here. So this is called full shuffle with everything in there, and that's not a bow, but it does it is uh, potentially progress. So we'll go to Swan here. Um, we'll visit the inn. That'll cure our poison and get our stuff back. Uh, we. Oh wait, where's Ken? Where is Tom? Uh, we've got Paralysis, and we've got the Love Pendant, but, uh, Stom's not here. Does, is he should be. Or did I talk to him? I, I might have already talked to him, huh? Okay, I must have, because Kensu's there. Has anyone seen the Great One Kensu around? Uh, I'll give you the Fruit of Power, thanks. Okay, well, next one. Let's go to the, um... I think this 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 is always fun beating the giant insect. And equip our uh... so in earlier versions of the randomizer, you could use the flight and then fly up next to the insect and just stab it real easy. But they patched out um, they patched out fly stabbing. So now you have to use um, let's see. Oh, we're not sure what the weakness is, are we? Fly stabbing has been patched out, so you've got to just use whatever you want. Well, that works. That didn't work. Okay, this will take it out. So our scaling factor is getting up there, so it's taking a few extra hits. Medical herb. Okay. So what's next? We got that statue. We know what that is. Um, we got the statue. We got the vampire cave. Um, where have we been? Let's see. Swan. Oh no. Okay. Oh, am I gonna get bit for skipping these chests here? You know they take extra time, and uh, since I visited the the inn here, uh, I I may have. Uh, you know, I can come back here real quick, so if they weren't too stranded. Um, but I needed to remember that I that I've got these things here. So we got two chests in here. Let's see if we get a bow. Um, we've also so we've got some trade-in stuff that hasn't come up. And these robots. Ah. We're getting the, the tower robots, which are the most difficult enemies. Medical herb, that's not a bow. Now we're getting all the medical herbs, when I could have used them earlier. Got hour 18. So this is actually, you know, an hour 20 minutes for 100% on this game. Pretty good, pretty respectable. I, I'm happy with that. Um, wait. That's not it. It's this way. Well, I can remember where it'll only take. Once I find this, the the like the final uh, rush is like five minutes. Um, this will be an estimate. Show me a bow. No. Okay. So what do we got left? We've got warrior ring. Oh, oh, I know. And this is a stupid one I missed. I could have gotten this earlier. Let's see if that's it. We've got change, and we got the ivory statue, but I did not check that. So let's see if Akahana's got it for us. So this guy, we call him Brokahana. 
He's got the shield ring, which we didn't need. Um, hmm. Now we've got statue gold. Shelf. Oh, did we get that? No. Um, we got that. Uh, hmm. Now I'm thinking hard. Um, we got everything in uh, there. Close to we do that cave. I did the waterfall. I did the angry sea. I did... We cleared everything in the uh, fortress. Did I get everything in the fortress? Hmm. I went in there. Oh. Did I get everything in the cave? Oh, did I blow up the... No, I blew up that wall. I got that. Um, eyeglasses. I got the eyeglasses, but I don't have that. Um, hmm. Well, we're gonna do this. I thought I saw the hint. Barrier. We cleared that. Statue of gold. items there. Recover. We use the key to prison. Um, did I talk to Asina twice? Hmm. Oh. Oh. We got that. We got... I checked. No, I checked everything. That was there. Oh, now I know where it is. Okay. Uh, just when you think you've checked it all. So, the one check, the uh, check that I missed on uh, Mount Saber South because I didn't have the tornado bracelet. Luckily, now that I've got flight, we can just fly right up there. It'll be a little faster. And we got the speed boots. So it'll be, we can run don't want to get hit by his paralysis beams. Okay. We're almost there. We've just got to get this last bow, and either Kensu here is, or uh, Tornell. Carissa plant, thank you. Well, Carissa plant gives us another thing, which is going to be an Amazon's. All right, and to get here, we've got to appease the women, turn into a girl. Oh, and before we do that, we'll go to the end. We need some MP. Now you move a little slower in change form, so I want to walk around a little more before changing. Battle armor, that's not a bow. Um, what else do we have? I did the insect, I did that. Um, hmm. I did that trade in. Hmm. We went in the front of the fortress. Did we get everything in there? We must have. Uh, we did Mado. Got everything uh, there. Mount Hydra, North, uh, Portoa. I'm thinking Portoa for some reason. Did I miss? I'll check in the back here. After this, it's going to be Dwango playing as a human again, and he's going to be playing Link to the Path Randomizer with Media Magnet, who just played Stanley Parable earlier. Uh, let's see, so where did I get Sword of Thunder? Would that have caused me to miss anything? I got it at, um, uh, 
I think I might have missed something there. I got the item in the small pyramid. I did that. I got the telepathy. Uh, let's see. Telepathy. I get Deo there. Did I miss anything in this cave? So I think I got all the items in here. And this was a mimic, right? Yeah. We found a lot of mimics. But we're short one bow. And we traded in for... We gave Kensu his uh, statue. I'm thinking there's something in the fortress that I missed. Not that. I think it might be one of the ones on the bottom here. No, mimic. Maybe I. Warp. No, no. Well, if I missed that, then I might have missed something else. No? else in the fortress here. We'll work our way back. Oh, sorry for being overestimate here. I guess I'm not yet. But... We'll figure this out. I've almost checked everything. I mean, obviously I haven't checked everything because I would have found my stupid bow. Let's see, where could our bow be? We beat the bosses. Um, let's see. Did I get this one here? Yeah, I got that one. I got the two on the left. Did I get the one? I got that one. I came in that way, so maybe I didn't come back up here? After that, we've got... Let's see. No, I got that one. Spot. I missed that spot before. What else could I have missed? Hmm. We've got big bug. This one. Oh, no mimic. I got the other one. Hmm. I got both chests in. I did talk to Azteca, didn't I? Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's check the next floor. We've already been through here, so we're not going to get a heal. But maybe I missed something here. But I didn't have the... Uh, that one. I blew away this wall. Yeah, I blew away that wall. I got the one further down here. No, it's gonna be over this way. Got that one. That's all the chests in the fortress. I think Kelbest won. Um, 
got everything, did we? Got everything in the fortress. Um, did those two. Did we do everything on Mount Saber Cell? That one. I went in the vampire cave. Yeah, these bows can be annoying. Uh, I was really hoping to finish on stream. Let's see. There's one over this way. Did I do the vampire and forget this one? No. Hmm. And I got that one. Vampire Cave is another easy place to get stuff. And at this high level scaling, like everything hits you like a truck. Oh, that one. I definitely got that one. And that one. So the Fog Lamp. Oh, let's see. I got everything in the Fog Lamp Cave. Um. Could I have missed? I don't have the alarm flute, which is kind of in this. Uh, so in the randomizer, the alarm flute is a key item rather than a item you buy in a shop. Um, so Portoa, up in that area. Um, did that. I blew up that wall. Hmm. What didn't I trigger yet? We've got all the spells. We've got. Um, Everything except that bow. Um, I beat. Oh, did we? No, I did that. Because we had. We had flight for that. Hmm. Now I'm getting desperate. Can I use my lifeline? Huh? Uh, let's see. I went back. I went back to that mountain, and I uh, yeah, I went back to that mountain. Oh, oh, I guess Azteca leaves. Hmm. Yeah, I went up on that mountain. I and I got the the tornado bracelet item. I got the. What else did I get? I got the. Uh, item from uh, let's see, this way. I got the two items that I left on Mount Saber South or South Mount Saber North. I did beat this guy, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, Shiren, I beat that guy. Did that check? Dare leave. There's something here. Is that cave? Ooh. No, there can't be anything there. I guess I'll I'll check this mountain. There might be something. Fog Lamp Cave, I did Waterfall Cave. I went through here. Yeah, I got that. That wasn't a bow. Was 
there anywhere like I died and, and uh, didn't get to go on? I got through here. Top, and I talked to Tornell. Hmm. I calm the angry sea. Oh, that's not the right way. Hmm. We had such a promising start. Safe journey, thanks. Um, yes, we can talk to both people in Oak. On the back of Amazons. We'll remember you as a hero for eternity. Great. And I've got the item here. Insect. Oh, I didn't. There's a suggestion to check the vanilla power ring spot. The vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I had a, a race where I missed that. I thought I checked that. The vanilla power ring spot. Okay, I'll check that next. I missed that in one. Um, I thought I checked that. That's the one where I in the oasis cave where I blew up a wall. Let me see if this, this is another spot that you miss sometimes. No? Okay. We'll, we'll check the vanilla powering spot. Because I missed that in a... Um, either I... I don't know if I, if I like forgot about it. I just routed it last. And, um, and that was ended up not being the right play. And I like... I lost a big lead, but the vanilla power ring is in the oasis cave here, and let's see, yeah, I thought that was a mimic. I keep a tracker on the side for, you know, it's sort of an emergency thing, but did I blow up the way? Yeah, I blew up that wall. This is where the middle of power ring is. Um, what was the other spot I was thinking I might have missed? It might be Evil Island. So we'll check Evil Island before we throw in the towel here. pretty fast now that we've got flight. So I remember I got like poison and had to get out or was that hmm. so there's one chest here. Got that. Run around to the side. lost pretty easily in this cave, but... Okay, so there's two chests over here. Uh, and I got both of them. <laughs> Try a 
think of all the spots people miss. I think I put the spoiler logs on when I generated the seed. Um, but so I'll be able to check this out later. Hopefully there's, there's not like a true logic bug, but... Okay, so I went up there. I got to that chest, didn't I? Or did I fall in before I got to it? I think I got this one. And then I talked to Clark. That's right, yeah, it was a fruit of power, oh. and then, like, I, I reset it. Okay, well. And here's where I fought the vampire. There's a suggestion to double-check all of your key items, in particular, wondering about x-ray glasses. About what? Oh, we've got the eyeglasses, but we don't have the alarm flute. So we, yeah, we need that alarm flute to check the eyeglass spot. So you use the eyeglasses, and then you get to a secret spot in a lighthouse. Um, and that was the last spot there. Um, talk to Clark. Well, you're being cheered on by a large number of people in chat, so they I'm are definitely what? trying to figure it out. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. That's not it. Joel. Hmm. Okay, Amazon. We did that. Talk to the queen. We got the Carissa plant trade. We got the, um... I got Deo's pendant, didn't I? Let me make sure. I think someone lost a race. <laughs> I remember someone missing that. Avenge me! Sure, sure. Uh, we checked everything in the fortress again. Uh... Are there any NPCs that I that I thought ate an item? Check, can I check the back of that? Wait, so the queen here. Sometimes the queen you're supposed to get if well, but I got the first item right away. Oh, this is a gift I forget I gave to someone I never forgot, but. No, that, that wasn't it. Um, let's see. Swan, Sahara. Uh, well, there could be anything there. Let's check uh, this mountain again. Mostly because I like the BGM. I don't know. I think the mountain... It's between the mountain and the angry sea, you know? What does everyone else think? Favorite soundtrack, mountain or the angry sea? Yeah, I went through there. I got that, didn't I? <laughs> we got no shortage of mimics. I think we found 100% of the mimics. And, you know, the max scaling is 47, so I literally have one more item to get. Um, let's see, we went through here. We beat this boss. That cave opened. Now, please be careful. Thanks. We went in the back side of that and, and got the, um, and got the item. Question if you have been to the front door of the windmill cave. The front door of the windmill cave. I did, yeah. Um, we went in there. Um, I went in there fairly early. Um, and in the front, in the very front of the cave, you get the spot that had the magic. So, this is full shuffle. So, the magic, the mimics, and, like, all the consumable chests are all shuffled in with all the key items and everything. Uh, there is... You can lose, um, consumables if a... If you have all your... If you have your consumable slots completely full, 
and a um, and you see an NPC that gives you a consumable, he'll he'll you'll just sort of lose it. Um, and there's cases where the NPC kind of walks off, and so you'll just lose the consumable. And it shouldn't it shouldn't be the case with an item you need though. So let's see. Uh, we check there again. Uh, we'll check the we'll check the front of windmill cave. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wait. That can't be the case because I. Oh, I triggered the. Hmm. Okay, so the people of Leaf are gone. But that opening that cave should have um, should have triggered it. So maybe it's there's like a trigger. Hmm. What am I missing? Blow up that wall. Open that. Why are the people of Leaf missing? I thought I got the item here. So this is where you get the paralysis spell. That wasn't there. Oh, right, no one's here. Um, so if I had the alarm flute, then there's two other checks. So that's like one uh, possible progression. I came in the front of the front of the windmill cave originally, and I checked all the spots in here again. Uh, hmm. I've checked all that. I think I've checked almost everything twice. Have I gone up Mount Saber? Let's try that one. Uh, so Mount. Uh, and I let me just check that. Uh, Make sure I beat Mato too. Pretty sure I did. He is more treacherous than the other three. Take care of Tornell. Oh, sorry, Stom. Okay. They want to know if you've checked and confirmed Dolphin. The Dolphin? Yeah, yeah, we got the Dolphin real early because we used Ghetto Flight. And certainly check the Warrior Ring Trade in Goa. The warrior, yes, we got that. We, we did broke a Hannah. Okay. They're still walking through what possible things could be left. Okay. It's not there. And I'll quote from the stream comments. This oh, okay. is a fun logic puzzle for those of us that know where all the items could be. <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I thought I got everything. Um, did I get everything in Stixie? I like everything Stixie. We'll, we'll go through here and then we'll go through Stixie. Um, we went through here. You gotta blast that wall. Go in this cave. Um, you go through here. Pass that wall. And we got that chest. You know, when you see the wall blasted, it's usually a pretty good uh, indicator that someone's been there little, like, I was here sign. The Crystallis guy, you know, I think we, we think of his name as Semia because, you know, he's kind of like, his teammate is Mesia, so we just, you know, put it backwards, so it's Semia. spot.
Now we'll check Stixie. I'm pretty sure I checked everything in Stixie, but I say that about everything. So, if you have a full... There, there's actually, in the normal game, since you keep using your key items, you'll never actually fill up that, that row. But in the randomizer, um, you may. And it's actually um, set up so that if you do, it, it puts them in a buffer, so you can't actually lose your key items that way. So there's a question if you healed the dolphin. For what? If you healed the dolphin. Yes, we healed the dolphin, because um, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to ride it. Um, and, and yeah, we got so because we, we got the items from Rage and um, and went back to heal the dolphin and use the dolphin. We had actually we had a ghetto flight seed. it is how did I miss that all right <laughs> thank you everyone thank you for your patience oh that was oh okay so I'm a little short on after all that okay I'm gonna have to I want to be able to, like, heal myself a little here. So I need a little more gold. But just that much should be enough. Okay. Okay, so we got to the end. Do they have a fruit of weapon? Well, we'll take some medical herbs. And we'll call it good. That'll have to do for the end here. I went through all my... <laughs> I went through all my consumables looking at everything twice. So, we full cleared the game twice. <laughs> But we got everything. And so that alarm flute has got to be in here. So what else is in here? Uh, we didn't find... Well, I don't know. Well, the alarm flute's here, and then the alarm flute covers two more items. Oh, great. We've got robots walking around. So what is your ETA at this point? Uh, like, four or five minutes? Okay. Yeah, so I just gotta beat the big dragon here, and, um, and then the, run up the tower. And I've got all the items. Um, the other thing, though, is that the final dungeon, uh, it makes it a little, lot harder since I've got full scaling. And I really... Oh, and you know why I missed that. It's because the first time I went through there, I didn't have flight. And so I didn't walk around and get that. That's why I missed it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got the Bow of Truth now. We got the Power Ring. We've got um, the Lag Storm. And we got Barrier. So that's going to make this fight pretty easy. And we're going to go for a, um, for a strat here where it may make the dragon... Um, and it didn't work. Let's see if we get a good... Pa oh, and that's a pretty good pattern. So we need to use the, uh, the storm here again. And at full scaling, this may take three. Oh, nope. Okay, we made it. Okay, so there's the big dragon fight. And that was just about perfect luck on that fight. Okay, and now 
we've got the tower. I'm gonna use uh, warrior ring strats because I don't have enough, um, I don't have any um, magic restoration items. So if I run out of magic, I won't be able to do much of anything. So you gotta beat these robots, and with full at full scaling, they're pretty strong. So, and I only got level 12. for me here. Can we get all three of them on screen here? Alright. So the lag storm becomes more efficient if you get all of them on screen at once. Ah. I do have a, a statue that I kept. So uh, if I, you know, do take some hits here. It's not the end. Okay. I'm gonna switch to water sword because it doesn't lag so much. Enemies despawn when you go between tower floors. Let me just make sure I've got that statue. So, we don't have uh, any MP left for our barrier, um, so I'm going to have to beat Dinah without barrier. Normally that'd be easy, because there's a safe spot, but I've got a flag on called Buff Dinah. The, you know, the normally Dinah is considered pretty easy. You can just use, you can either cheese it with barrier or go in a safe spot, but no, not anymore. Well, check this out. The, it used to be pretty easy, and now, oh, eh, not so much. Uh, I'm gonna use power ring. We've got some bullet hell action here now. So you can beat these two things on the side. Since I, I have barrier, I don't have the MP for it. Let's try not to get hit. All right, one side down. Die! All right. There's the, uh, from hell's heart I stab at thee. All right. 
and and time. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, sub two hours. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for letting me finish that. Way over. Uh, uh, no, I'm fine. The danger is over. It would be nice to rest easy without the threat of evil at our backs. All right. Thanks, everyone.